as cheap as it can get out here. 10 bucks a person, kids eight and under are free. Come check it out. And you know, we have one, we've already done one, the May 25th. We have the next one coming up June 15th. June 15th is our next one. Then we have one July 20th, August 10th, September 6th. It's a Friday, it's not a Saturday. We had to put one on a Friday. And then October 19th is gonna be our last event of the year. Uh, usually we have a little bit more than this, but with the new management, they wanted to do a lighter schedule just to kind of work it out until you know, next year they'll probably go back into the more dates again, but you know, they didn't want to overwhelm themselves the first year. 200 cars, the first race. 200 cars uh, just lining up to look like the 405 freeway on our hot pits. We keep them moving though. We have a pretty good system. Uh, I think it's 10 bucks to come in, 20 bucks if you want to race. There's a guy, Eddie Valdez, that sits in our pits and he has uh, DOT approved helmets that he rents uh, for one use for the whole night. He sits in the middle of our pit, so you don't even have to have a helmet to bring with you. Although you're taking your chances that those, you know, those are gonna be gone when you get here. Because there is a high demand for it. Like I said, 200 cars. He only has a stock of maybe 30, you know, 50 helmets, and those are different sizes. So it would be good if you're gonna participate in our drag races, which is open to everybody. I've seen guys out here that uh, still have their grease monkey costume on and they have their flatbed work truck, and they love doing it so much that they were late getting off of work, so they just came out in their work truck, and you know, everything was off of it, it was safe, but it's a dang work truck, and they sign up and they race their work truck all night long, just because they have that much fun doing it. Uh, I've never known anyone that says they hated it after they've gone down that thousand foot stretch. It's a blast of, we have, their, we have moms in their minivans. You know, we had a, a few years ago, we had a couple moms that were battling it out in their, in their mom mobiles. Uh, we have married couples that come out and marry, uh, battle it out in their, in their daily cruisers. It's not just a professional drag race, it's a fun, fun deal. And it's meant for everybody, which is kind of what Willow Springs is all about, is uh, making racing available for everybody in, in a non-intimidating way. Because of course we have a snack bar that sells food and drink, we have a bar. We don't allow outside alcohol on the drag nights uh, or the speedway. Those are the only two events out here at Willow where you can't just pack up the ice chest full of beer and sit on the side of our track and watch racing. We allow that. Uh, but during these events, because it's a family atmosphere, we don't want people coming out with and consuming too much of their own alcohol. We're not trying to have, uh, you know, to have you guys locked in here and sell you our beer at high prices. No, we just don't want people to get too inebriated. So we try to, to, we try to level it out by just not allowing outside alcohol and you have to buy drinks at the bar. Audi A4, it's got a Volkswagen VR6 swapped engine, it's on 35 pounds of boost, it's got a 67, 66 precision turbo, and it's a lot of fun, you know, it's, a, it's one of 10 in the world, my brother happens to have another one just like this, so it's, you know, it's, it's, everything's Frankenstein in this car. You don't see too many Audis out here, you know, just my brother and I and a few other of our friends. My car is a 1991 Acura NSX. Uh, the only modifications I got on the car are intake headers and exhaust. Um, last time I ran up here in October, it was a hot day. I ran 11.8. That was my best time. Uh, not bad for you know 20 plus year old car. But uh, my car, um, other things on my car, uh, I lightened the car up a little bit. Um, carbon fiber hood. Um, I took a lot of the cars monocoque so like the rear fenders can come off. The front, the front end could come off. Um, so uh, my my wheels are pretty light. They're Advan GTs. They're pretty expensive, but they're the lightest on the market in the size that I wanted. Um, uh, what else? Well, yeah, we'll see what kind of times we I get tonight. So. That's what I said about the six. Right outside his head. Go home, please. I can't with you. Those tires are bigger than my whole car.
small block 350, 202 heads, little cam, little lift, out of rock, uh, power glide training. Open to see what it'll do. Open it up. Have some fun. Uh, 50 years old and it's pretty much original with 114,000 miles um, all matching numbers and it does run 13s periodically um, I could have had headers on it but I had a few little uh, problems here and there the past couple weeks weather included so I can get it a little bit faster but that will have to wait until the next session so, but what I just did was got new tires for it instead of junky ones that I had on to make it perform a little bit better, as you can see. 2018 Dodge Challenger Hellcat. 707 horsepower. Uh, I don't know, had it a year, only had 700 miles on it. <laughs> Sockets, ratchets, wrenches, power tools, and even diagnostic scanners. 
uh, we set up accounts and we come to you and we do the best with our service and, and taking care of any warranties, brokens, anything that we can have to offer. We, uh, we, we do it with pride and, and a smile on our face. So uh, right here we have our new truck, our 2018, stock full of brand new tools ready to be purchased or even uh, warrantied out for you. So right here would be our one of our promo spots where as you can see we have wrenches sockets and also on our second promo shelf we got the uh our half inch digital torque wrench that will torque up to 300 foot pounds and just a just a stocked snap-on truck full of tools ready to be purchased also our diagnostic scanners hammers and our wrenches hey if you like what you see don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for roadie thomas here also, check us out on Twitter, at RealWSIR. Plenty of content on both uh, all, uh, social media outlets. Uh, for, I'm Christian Youth, and uh, we we'll hope to see you out here.